This is a Spoon TV original. You already know it's the king. You know what I'm saying? It's smooth in the building. And I'm back with another video. Well, I'm in the building. You already know I got my apron on today. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm feeling because I'm feeling like one of the greatest chefs in the world right now. So today I got a recipe that's a little more, um, how should I say? It's a, it's, it's a little more advanced today, but it's going to be good nonetheless. So now I call this my, uh, my walnut pomegranate salad with a orange walnut vinaigrette. So you already know here we go. I'm pretty sure y'all gonna like this recipe. It's gonna be, it's gonna look good. It's gonna be interesting. And here we go. All right, boom. So these are our ingredients that we need today. Now it may seem like a lot, of course, comparing to the pre previous videos that I made, but it's not that bad. So we're just gonna be gonna start. We're gonna make this. It's gonna it's gonna be a good salad. And honestly, when you finish with this, you're gonna pat yourself on the butt. And you're going to be like, yo, you did a good job. So here we go. So of course, I washed my kale already. A little bit. So now we're going to start adding our ingredients. So now we're going to get our uh, onion in there. And I say, uh, if I can transcribe this, I'm going to put... It's probably one fourth of a cup. When I get a cameraman, I think I'm gonna get on my salt base swag, you know. Next is the avocado. This is one of the most important parts of the meal because I love avocados. That was the avocado, so now we're gonna put some bell pepper in there. We're going to add the pomegranates in there. We're just going to sprinkle them around. And of course, we're going to add the walnuts. Now, the walnuts is going to add, you know, of course, the um, omega 3s, you know what I'm saying? That's an essential, that's an essential thing you need in your diet. You know what I mean? And they add the fat, that with the avocados. Listen, you don't need to eat a whole bunch of meat to, you know what I mean, put on some, some weight, you know, put on some size. If you, do, you eat these bad boys, you work out, you'll be fine. Bad boy, you know I'm, I'm pretty sure this bad boy looking pretty good right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking real different. Now, now. we're going we gonna to make this dressing. So, of course, I got the Nutribullet in the cut. So, we're going to be making that. I don't know if I could uh, transcribe this, so... Well, it looks like I'm going to have to use the rest of the olive oil because it looks like I'm almost out. But I say about one-third of a cup of olive oil. Of course, you're going to add your walnuts. You're going to put your seasonings in there. I say about a teaspoon. Mm, nah, maybe two, two teaspoons of garlic. Probably a teaspoon of pepper because I'm not a... I'm not a big pepper guy like that, so I don't need that much. Two teaspoons of onion powder. You already know I love me some onion powder and garlic powder and salt. Man, I love me some salt. So this is pink Himalayan salt. Uh, that's the only salts I really mess with. I only mess with sea salt and um, pink Himalayan salt. Salts with minerals still attached to them. Um, we don't mess with that iodized salt over there. Me, I don't mess with it per se. And table so I don't mess with that stuff neither so that was about a teaspoon of that was about a teaspoon of uh of um, sea salt now this is apple cider vinegar the Bragg's version you know what I mean this is my joint right there hold on let me focus the camera so y'all can see that that's this is my joint right here apple cider vinegar I'm gonna put half a cup of that in here too about half a cup you see, you know how black people roll. We just, you know what I mean? We don't really, 
measure the stuff we putting in our food. We just know when it's time to finish, you know? So, now I'm going to juice this lime. I'd say use half a lime. Unfortunately, I don't got key limes, though. So, But, you know what? I ain't going to die if I, you know, consume a seedless uh, lime. Alright, so my lime has been juiced. It's about... It's about half half a lime. Half a lime is fine. You know, I mean, you don't need too much going on. That's to give it some uh, kick to it. Now that's gonna get funky, man. You, there's a lot of things that you can add to these salads, man. I, the point of making these videos is to inspire other people so they could create their own versions and their own concoctions of whatever. So hopefully, I can inspire you guys to start making your own salads and. Y'all just holla at me. Maybe y'all could show me some recipes. So that would be phenomenal. But until then, here we go. We put everything inside of the container. Now we're about to blend this. So now it's finished. Now, I don't know. You can't really, woo, you can't really see inside of it, but it's, it's a nice creamy sauce now. So, I mean, we finished everything. It's pretty simple. Now, I got I got the salad right here. I really need to get a cameraman so somebody can help me with this, though. But, you know what I mean? This is, this is how it's supposed to look. And you can even add water, you know what I mean, to make it more... Uh, more liquidy you know what i'm saying because this is very thick and creamy right now and that's exactly what i think i might do i might add some water to it but you guys get the idea this is my walnut pomegranate vinaigrette salad right there this is a new recipe you know what i mean my first recipe was showing y'all uh, my go-to salad, but now this is a little more advanced. And we know when I, you know, just feel more creative though. So I hope you guys, I hope I inspire you guys to make something like this. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for more godliness.